absolutely spectacular. Hi everybody, I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush. It is our video Wednesday, Wednesday, December the 6th. We're in the coach's office of the Charlotte Rush here at the Extreme Ice Center. And we're going to talk Charlotte Rush Premier Hockey right now. we got a lot of things to talk about, a lot of news right now with the Premier team. And let's uh, quickly bring in the head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier Club, Ryan Crothers. Ryan, you guys, to stay sane, need to have some fun around here. You had a little four-on-four -four game today, and you prevailed over your assistant coaches. Yeah, today was a, uh, a fun day for our guys. We just played four on four. We have a, a lot of guys out, either uh, called up or six. So we only had uh, eight or nine guys that were here and able to skate this morning. So we figured we'd have some fun with them. I think they, they earned it. Um, still got a good skate in. And uh, yeah, it was nice to beat Trevor and, and John. And um, it's nice to contribute. I think I had a hat trick or maybe five. I don't know. Wasn't counting. But, uh, no, it's always fun to play with the guys and, uh, you know, show that side of it and, and kind of let your guard down for a little bit. So it was a lot of fun, and uh, it was nice to win. I understand the prize was because you beat them that down in Florida for the showcase, they have to bring you a breakfast in bed every day. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty <laughs> typical anyway. But, no, it was uh, – it was a fun skate. Uh, I know we're going to go out and have a team lunch here as a group, and we just had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and uh, it was competitive, very competitive. Oh, that's great. Well, again, uh, last week at this time we talked about uh, a very – uh, solemn situation. Matthew Hedlund's mother was in a hospital in Ottawa and uh, she was uh, not doing very well at all. Matthew flew up there and uh, one week later what can you tell us about the situation Ryan? I think she's doing better. Um, from what we know she's doing better. Matthew flew back uh, earlier this week and um, got to spend some time with his mom and, and I, from what I hear everything went well and uh, we'll honor her with wearing some stickers on her helmet in, in honor of her. Uh, and those will be displayed this week on the start. But uh, Matt seems to be doing good. Uh, it looked like he was happy to be back on the ice with his teammates. And uh, his mom's doing well. So we wish her all the best. And we're still praying for her and thinking about her. And uh, it's nice to have him back here. And thanks to all of the Rush Nation for praying for Matthew's mother and your thoughts and prayers. We appreciate that a lot. Well, you know, one of the things before we get into the nuts and bolts about what the Rush did last week and the upcoming series this weekend against Richmond, one of the things that the Rush loves to do is to promote players and have them go to a higher level. And we've got four guys riding who are heading upstairs. Tell us about the good news. Yeah, it's great. Uh, that, that's the whole point of this thing is to try and move guys on, and it's, and it's nice to win hockey games you know, uh, while you're trying to move them on. And I think winning uh, goes hand-in-hand -hand with guys getting an opportunity at a higher level. So it's something over the last two years we've been able to win a lot of hockey games and move a lot of guys on, not just after the season but in season. And uh, Max Lewicki, Brendan McCormick, and Max Mohall have all gone up to our affiliate uh, in the NCDC with the Northern Cyclones. I'm um, having a pretty good week so far from what I understand, and, and they'll definitely be up there through the weekend. And that's in New Hampshire, right? Correct. Okay. And then uh, we had Kyle Podwicka um, earn a call up to the New Jersey Rockets, NCDC, mm. and uh, he's going to be up there. I think he plays his first game tonight, mm. and he's, uh, he's up there at the higher level, so it's good. It's good for our guys. They all earned it, all four of them, and uh, hopefully they make the most of the opportunity. And, of course, uh, with those four guys departing, that will weaken our roster. But Tyler Barrow, suspension now over. He'll be back, right? And also Matthew Hedlund. So that will certainly help out. Yeah, it definitely helps. I mean, you never want to lose four guys. But I think if you look at our roster over the last month or so, we, we seem to have a lot of guys in and out. I hope to get uh, Samaro back as well. So, you know, we were missing a lot of pieces this past weekend. Uh, we have a lot of guys sick right now. You know, we only had nine skaters, I think, on the ice today. So we had three guys go up on college visits. Mm -hmm. um, Scotty Aaron and Nick Godfrey and Tyler Barrow. So they missed a few days of practice here as well on college visits. So it's a very light week, but that's, that's the whole point of this thing is to move guys on and give them opportunities to play at a higher level. So uh, there'll be some holes again this weekend, and, and I expect they'll probably be that way all the way through. Uh, what's mm -hmm. good for us is I think we've built ourselves a pretty nice, comfortable lead in first place, and I know that we're very deep. I think that's you know the main thing about our team is our depth mm -hmm. uh, compared to others. So I think other guys, it's opportunity to step up. It's opportunity for guys on a lead are going to play Premier this week and they're going to get opportunities. Um, you know, it's a chain reaction. One gets pulled from Premier to NCDC, and then someone from Elite gets pulled to Premier. And, and it's good, and it's healthy, and I'm really excited for our guys and excited for the opportunity. Some of our guys will get special team-wise, five-on-five, that maybe they haven't gotten because those guys have been here. So it'll be an exciting weekend. 
You're watching commentary from Charlotte Rush Premier Coach Ryan Crothers on our video Wednesday here on Wednesday, December the 6th. Ryan, let's talk about the split in Hampton Roads. You lost the first game, a close one, 3-2. to two. But what I was impressed about, you came back big time on Sunday, turned things around. Uh, what I was very impressed about was the fact your first three goal scores in the game Sunday were not your top scores, but they came through Antonio Demacopoulos, Chandler Judd, uh, and the third one was uh, Nick Godfrey. So that was nice to see those guys step up and take a little heat off your top scores. Yeah, absolutely. You always want secondary scoring, and I think that's what those guys are. They're secondary scorers for us. And uh, I thought the team played really well, even Saturday. I thought we you know, dictated the play, the mm. pace, the tempo, um, every category. We had a couple of unfortunate bounces. Mm. Um, you know, there's no excuses, and, and we were missing a ton of guys. But, you know, reality is I thought we dictated the play, and I, and I was really happy, you know. And then we went back, and, and you watch video Saturday night, and, and you start to look at the things you did well. And then we did a lot of good things in that loss. So I, I was happy with the effort. I'm really happy with the way the guys responded, though. I think uh, I think they took it personal on, on Saturday night, which which is great. Mm. Um, heard a lot of things they didn't want to hear and saw a lot of things they didn't want to see, and, and they rectified that on Sunday. So I'm very proud of my guys. Yep, good bounce back for the Rush. They split in Hampton Roads. And we're going to talk about the weekend series in Richmond. Rush back home for the final set of 2017 home games before we come back and play in January. But, Ryan, before we talk about your battles on the ice with the Generals, got a big promotion coming up on Saturday. Tell us about it. Yeah, we're going to do our first ever uh, Teddy Bear Toss for both games. So it'll be the first goal of each, the Elite and Premier game. Uh, we encourage fans to bring, you know, uh, Teddy Bears, as many as they want. Uh, the netting around the rink uh, in our building will be uh, untied at the bottom so uh, when that goal hopefully goes in uh, just pull it back and fire your teddy bears onto the ice and it's going to go uh, to a couple of local hospitals here on Monday and we're going to go around and, and visit some people and, and deliver the teddy bears and um, it'll be a nice cool event it'll be the first one we've ever done and we're always trying to expand in the community uh, we've always been a, a leader in our community and this will just add to that so I'm excited for it uh, you see them around numerous leagues and it and looks like a great event I've been a part of a couple um, that are a lot of fun Mm -hmm. So for our guys, I know they're looking forward to it. Uh, I know our rink is looking forward to it. Extreme Ice Center always does a good job uh, when they put on events, and, and I know everyone's on board for this first annual Teddy Bear Toss, so I encourage everyone to come out to both games. All right, and it's going to be uh, done at both games this coming Saturday, uh, December the 9th. So spread the word, bring your teddy bears. It's all for a great cause, and I hope you'll take part in that big promotion, the Teddy Bear Toss, first ever for the Charlotte Rush coming up this Saturday. Ron, as we talk about on the ice with Richmond, you know when you're in first place, you always got the bullseye on your back, so I'm sure Richmond will be coming in, would love to knock off the top dogs. Yeah, and the last time we played them, they did they did just that. So uh, for us, it's going to be important that we come out and give a full effort. Um, again, the holes in the lineup and, and everyone being sick and stuff, they, those are just excuses at the end of the day. And um, you know, We're not ones here to make excuses for wins or losses. And it's a little bit of adversity, but we like uh, our team, and guys are going to have to step up. And it's going to be very challenging. Richmond's a good team. They, they play physical, and um, they got the better of us last time we were there. I think the, the Saturday night game was like 11 or 12 to 2 or something like that. We won, and then they came back the next day and beat us in a shootout. So for us, it's important we respond here. Uh, we're going to see them three times in the next week because we got them in Florida as well. Mm, that's right. And if you look at the standings right now, that's probably going to be our first round opponent if the season ended right now in Charlotte. So mm -hmm. it's important for us to, to win at home against a team that we're probably going to have to see and go through in order to make it to, to Boston and, and to the playoffs in the finals. So uh, we're excited for the challenge, excited to play at home as always, and uh, hopefully we come out on top. All right, we have one more comment from Ryan Cuthers. He's going to tell us about some exciting things that have been happening with the rush uh, with youth hockey here in Charlotte. I know my good friend Jimmy Harwell, he brags to me all the time, Ryan, about how the guys help his uh, under-10 rush travel team. Uh, a lot of the guys come out. He's been very complimentary about how they help him at practice, but you've got some more news for us as well. Yeah, it's just uh, our involvement with the youth hockey is continuing to expand, and uh, new hockey director here in, in Zach and Zach Hull, and he's been uh, he's been awesome. He's been instrumental, and he's really. Uh using us and the junior team as a platform for him and a learning experience and the relationship we now have with the youth program is is growing and it's healthier and our guys are out there on the ice with their guys and their coaches are in with us uh, looking at video or our guys are helping out it's just it's been really good and healthy and I think Zach's uh, done a tremendous job in a short period of time of being a hockey director here and I think the ideas he has for the future as far as uh, you know from double A to A to in-house um, I think it's, it's really good and uh, I think it's healthy and it's really nice to see the rush logo uh, and the branding expanding our guys involvement with their billet brothers and and the coaches and it's just it's really neat to see I don't think um, 
we envisioned this three years ago when we started it. So uh, to have a building uh, that's a sea of red and white now and, and Rush logos everywhere, it, it's really nice. And I'm excited to continue to work with Zach and his coaches and our players and their players and, and expand this youth hockey program mm -hmm. and uh, assist him in whatever he needs in order to do that. I lied. I do have one more quick comment for Ryan Crothers. Ryan, you folks, too, in the lobby of the Extreme Ice Center, you have a brand-new display with all the Rush apparel. There is so much nice, nice apparel and novelty and souvenir items in there, and it has been exciting to look around the rink on these tournaments on the weekends. All you see is Charlotte Rush. So, But tell us about the new uh, uh, apparel stand and all the things you have to offer there. Yeah, it's the apparel stand was just us uh, always continuing trying to get better and, and put ourselves in a good position to be uh, professionals and be the front runner as an organization at, at the Tier 3 junior level. And uh, Jackson Ross's family uh, and his dad, more importantly, um, helped build us this uh, travel apparel stand. And his grandmother works it for us a lot of the time. And... Um, you know, it's open this week for, for the holidays for the youth, but the amount of families and, and kids that want Rush Apparel now because of the youth involvement mm -hmm. uh, is continuing to expand, and it's become a, almost a full-time job. So the apparel stand is a nice touch. Uh, he did a beautiful job creating mm -hmm. it, and uh, the people are really enjoying it. And uh, like I said, the more Rush logo and branding we can get out there, the happier we are. So it's, uh, it's an exciting piece to our organization now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tell you, it's very attractive. It displays so much of the Rush apparel in a very professional way. So make sure uh, the next time you're here at the Extreme Ice Center that you stop by. And by the way, it's Christmas time, so it's a great time to pick up some Rush apparel to give away as Christmas gifts. And I know the recipients of those will be very excited. Ryan, we had so much good news to talk about. Ryan, uh, you talked about Matthew Hedlund's mom doing well, the four guys going up, the teddy bear toss, uh, coming back and getting the win after Saturday's loss. So a lot of good stuff to talk about. Thanks for all the insights and uh, good success this weekend against Richmond. Thank you very much, Tim. All right, it's Ryan Crothers, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier. Join us every Wednesday for our midweek updates here. And, of course, today it's Wednesday, December the 6th. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tim Donnelly, voice of the Charlotte Rush, and we'll see you next time.